Hi, this is Peter Dykes Clairvoyant here, and I'm doing Gemini's astrology reading here for February the 12th to the 18th, 2024. So let's see what we get here for you regarding relationships, okay? Okay, so with relationships, look at this. There's your true love card coming in. But we can also look at this as just generally as a new emotional beginning. So fresh starts, new energy, or so something new, or putting new energy into what we've got. And we're kind of building up things nicely. And right in the center here, we've got the card again. So it's like we're getting emotionally and independently now as we're moving forward. But it still feels like one or two things that you've got to sort out in your own thoughts. I feel like one or two of you Geminis may be feeling a little bit controlled or if it's not controlled, then things around you sort of blocking you moving forward. But eventually you will be able to move forward. It's just going to take time, a little bit of effort and a bit of patience. So just keep doing what you're doing and bit by bit you'll get there. Okay, let's have a look at work and career. Okay. So with work and career, it's like you've got to put the past behind you now. You've got to draw a line under things and forget it, okay? And it's like I feel so sometimes I'm being pulled in different directions of what I'm trying to do and achieve. But again, fresh starts, new beginnings. So again, it's the same. We've got another ace in the same position. So it's all about change and new beginnings for you. And that's massive earning potential. So it's all there for you. But I feel like I've got to start fresh. And I feel like here, something just tells me, especially if you're in business, I perhaps need to change my name. I need to perhaps revamp myself, have a new logo, a new business name, a new, a new kind of path, a new direction. And then I feel like as you do that, then I feel as though you'll start to come good. It's a bit like I feel like I've definitely got to draw a line under the past completely. So in other words, it's like you're reinventing yourself. Right, let's have a look at money. Okay, so I just feel as though I'm feeling quite empowered to deal with money because you're coming in as the emperor. It's like you should be at the top of what you're doing or being the boss to sort of run your own business. Excuse me. <coughs> oh dear. I definitely sneezing them. Okay. But I do feel like sometimes money can be quite negative with you. You either have got your blockages with money or you try to control money. And I just feel so you've got to stop doing that. It's like there's something there you've got to deal with money. And if you deal with it now and sort it out now and get your head straight with money as you're moving forward, you will prosper. But if you let that continue as you move forward, money will never come or you will never appreciate life the way you should do. So in other words, it's time to change the attitude of money. You've got to remember money is an energy. So you treat it right, it will come to you. If you treat it negatively or others with money, it will come back to you negatively. So do remember that, okay? So you've got your battles here with money, but it all depends how you deal with it. You deal with it in the right way, you can win the battle. You deal with it in the wrong way, you will lose the battle. So that's very deep, isn't it? Okay, uh, health. I feel so with health now, don't go lifting everything's up. Try and light the load and don't be frightened to ask for help, okay? And overall, just feel so things will gradually pick up with health, okay? Um, let's see what we get with family. Right, so with family, there's a little bit of lack of communication, okay? And this feels like it needs to be sorted and resolved. It's like there's a split there, in a sense. But with a bit of healing, we can pull it all back together. And then I've got somebody here who's quite caring, quite sensitive. It's like you've got to treat that person right. Remember, they're sensitive for a reason. So if you treat them right, you'll get the best energy. But if you don't treat them right, they may be sensitive and weak in some ways, but they've got strength when they need it and they can pull away if you're not careful. So it just feels though, don't don't sort of antagonize this person. As otherwise, you might not think they will let go, but they could do, they could come back to bite you. So just be careful with that, okay? And children, let's have a look with children. Children. 
Okay, so there's a child there, so it could be a baby. So are you thinking about having a child or have you got focus on a baby or focus on a child? And it's like you're doing a lot of reflecting how to deal with this child moving forward. But it feels like whatever you do decide, things will take off and things will be put into place. So that's really good and interesting. And your overview now for your life moving forward over the next week or so. Okay, so it's like I've got cut for all the crap now and deal with things and sort things out. I feel so I need to tidy up finances and seek advice about money. And it's almost like I feel so now you're looking for the guiding light now where you kind of go in next. But gradually I feel so things are picking up, but you've got to put the energy in so you get the energy back. Because if you don't, you won't. And remember, you've got good energy, you've got bad energy, you've got okay energy. So it depends what you put in that you will get back. So I wish you well, wish you all the best. So good luck of it all. Thank you. Bye-bye.